Okay, welcome back to part two. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to get something out of a Minecraft Education Edition world into a 3D printable file. So this doesn't cover the, the AR and GLB file stuff. This is just from Minecraft into an STL so that you can 3D print it. So if you watched the previous tutorial, this is something I built somewhere else. I'm going to grab a slab of this and we're going to get it out of here. Um, so out of the Minecraft world into a 3D printable format. Or we can steal some, you know, let's well, we, let's let's get the landscape. So we can steal this mountain here. All right, so let's just come down and have a look. Normally, the structure blocks allow you to export 32 by 32 by 32 blocks. Um, but we're going to go bigger than that this time. Um, we're going to export... Uh, this mountain range let's go you know that's way more than 32 blocks so just to give you an idea of what it looks like in Minecraft we'll now jump out of that world open up that new version of MC edit link in the previous video and I will try and get it in this one as well um, open up this world uh, let's make that bigger so here we are this is where we left so we now know the mountain, I still need to get used to MC edit. Um, the mountain range we're looking at, look, there's that floating bit of rock out there. Um, and it's interesting, it's sort of, hey, there's a spawner over there. Anyway, distracted. Um, it hasn't really generated all of that terrain. It's like Minecraft did it, like we could see it all in world, but it hasn't actually saved it to the, to the world. So anyway, so what we're going to do, so here's the, the chunk of terrain I want to export. So I'm going to select that, drag you, drag you up so that you cover all of that. And then we just hit the export button down here and that exports it as a schematic file. Um, so let's go attempt two, attempt one was me testing this out another day. So let's hit save on that. And it, so that was a heap of blocks, 20, 200 and something thousand blocks. All right, so let's get out of MC edit. Um, and if we go into documents, MC edit schematics, we have an attempt to schematic there. So the next thing we're going to use is a program called Mineways, um, and it throws an error when I load it, so I just ignore that. And what this can do is this can open schematic files. So if I go into my documents, into MC edit, into schematics, and grab that attempt to schematic, this will actually load that file for me. So you can see this is this is everything I exported, right? So using MC, sorry, using Mineways, um, I can then choose how much of this terrain to export. So I'm going to I'm going to export all of it, and then you can just go uh, export for three D printing. Now I choose an STL file, and I don't think it really matters which one. Um, attempt to. And this is where it gets really fun and interesting. So what you can do is make it hollow, and you can mess around with all these settings. So I'm going to say each block is one millimetre high, not 1.5. Um, or you can just set the overall height of the model, or the size of the model. All right. Uh, fill air bubbles, connect parts, shared connect corner tips, delete floating objects. Yes, happy with that. Um, you can hollow out the bottom of the model, which is what I think um, it's really, really useful if you want to cut down on 3D print material. Um, but I'm just going to hit OK, and it's going to do that. And now I have an attempt to STL here, which I can then export into this model here. So you can see that there were some caves under the ocean. Um, and stuff like that. So you can see that this is much, much bigger than 32 by 32 by 32 blocks. And to be honest with you, I would not print this myself. <laughs> um, but that's the STL model as it came out of Minecraft Education Edition. So that same theory applies. So just to run you through that again, build it in Minecraft Education Edition, open that world in MC Edit. Now, we would probably recommend you export the world from Minecraft somewhere else. 
um, rather than doing it live in the Minecraft Education Edition world like I have here. I'm only doing that because this is a world I do not care about. It's just a test world for, for messing around with this sort of stuff. So I would be exporting that world out of Minecraft Education Edition and ensuring that I had a, a save of that world somewhere else just in case I messed it up in MC Edit. So once you've done that, open that world in MC Edit, make your selection, I'm um, not an MC Edit King, um, but make your selection and then hit export. And let's go with temp3, exported, quit MC edit, open mine ways, ignore the error, open the schematic file, so wherever you saved it, so mines in documents, MC edit schematics, attempt 3, select the portion of the world you want to uh, export with a right click drag, and then I'm happy to go down to 46. I actually want to go further than that, so I'm going to take that this time. So again, I'm not going down to zero this time, so I'm just hopefully getting the surface layers. File, export for 3D printing. I do it as an STL file, and let's go with attempt three. And I'm going to change that to one mil again. Okay, and then I'm going to open up my 3D printing software. Oh, to give you a bit of an idea, it tells you how much it's going to cost. So it's 127 by 122 and 57 blocks high. So that summary is actually there. I didn't realize that. Um, and now if we drag the 3D printer software out here and we open up that model, attempt three, it'll bring that model in. And that's that model, that third model, attempt three. Okay, any questions, give me a shout out either in the comments below or at EduElfie on Twitter. If you're a mentor, feel free to contact me on Teams. Um, thanks for watching, I hope that helps, and I'll catch you next time.